Well, obviously, we can control minds. You don't need to have implants and technology embedded in the brain or things inside our heads. I'm talking now, and it's affecting everyone who's listening, affecting their brains and perhaps affecting how they're thinking. That's happening all the time, and we can control minds in, through persuasion. I mean, the whole advertising industry is based on controlling minds through persuasion. Um, we can control minds through hypnosis, uh, which is perhaps more scary sometimes. And even when there are direct devices implanted in the brain, and I suppose that happens most commonly now with cochlear implants, um, people have to learn how to use these and the cochlear implant doesn't directly control their mind it uh, allows electrical impulses to go into the brain tissue uh, and people have to take months learning how to interpret these there's a way in which we've already got widespread thousands maybe millions of people have these devices but our minds also i think will reach out and affect uh, people uh, at a distance uh, directly, perhaps in the more almost not like Yuri Geller, but one of the areas I've done research on is on telepathic influences on dogs. Dogs are much more sensitive than people, uh, it, it turns out. And many people have dogs that know when they're coming home and go <laughs> wait at a door or window. And this is something which is it's not just coincidence. We did lots of experiments. This is in peer reviewed journals with videotaped evidence. Um, we videoed the place the dog waits and the persons then called and told when to go home at a randomly chosen time they don't know in advance. They travel in a taxi to avoid any familiar car sounds or smells. And over and over again, the dog goes and starts waiting at the door uh, while they're on the way home and massively significant statistically. There's an example, I think, of um, something that's still not properly understood. Telepathy is very common. Um, telephone telepathy is the commonest human kind. You think of someone and then shortly afterwards they ring. You say, that's funny, I was just thinking about you. Or you know who it is when the phone rings. And again, I've done lots of experiments on that, where there are four callers. You have to choose which, uh, the, we choose which of the four makes the call at random. They call the person, they know it's one of these four people, they have to guess who it is before they answer the phone, they have caller ID, and the results are way above the 25% chance level. They average about 45% in our film tests with a massively uh, significant result. So I think there's already evidence that minds uh, are actually much more than just the brain. Um, they can be influenced by all sorts of things, psychedelic drugs, persuasion, other people's words, torture, hypnosis, um, can change our minds and influence them. But our minds can also have effects at a distance, as shown in telephone telepathy, and on the way they influence dogs at a distance. And this has nothing to do with technology. I think it may have some niche applications, uh, but obviously we're going to have to talk more about minds and how they work.